started recording. Hello friends, good morning. In this video, what we will do is, we will see a couple of things in uh, Windows 2019 because before uh, we start with the Windows 2019 features and stuff, I would like to explain few things which we need to make sure. Okay, if you look at this picture at this table I'm sorry okay Windows 2003 is already end of life long back and there is another end of life project which is in next few months that is in January 2020 Windows 2008 going to be end of life so we can see a lot of customers are still using Windows 2008 across the organizations uh, so Microsoft is recommending is these servers can be easily migrated across the new platforms within on-premise or the Microsoft Azure Cloud. So Windows 2019 has got a couple of features that it can help you to migrate the servers from 2018 legacy servers to latest Windows 2019 and on-premise or you can still migrate them onto the Azure clouds and uh, you can simply migrate them onto the Azure clouds and use them okay so before that uh, I would like to see I mean what are all the options available within 2019 one of the feature that I come across is storage migration services storage migration services is one of the feature within Windows 2019 offering which will help you to migrate the SMB shares, especially where you're running the legacy file shares across the uh, board, uh, which is running on 2003 or 2008 or 2012, whatever the flavor of the watchful machine or the physical server within on premise, uh, this service will help you to consolidate that onto the on premise latest Windows platform, which is 2016 or 19, whichever you opted, or else. It will also help you to migrate the same file server onto Azure using FileSync or you can still create the file share within Azure Storage Services and you can consolidate that file shares into Azure as well. Okay, for that a couple of prerequisites we need to make sure. One is 2019 server, you need to have one 2019 server. Let me draw a simple picture here where I'm gonna build the lab for the next coming sessions. Okay, Windows 2009 main machine, which I will eventually I'll utilize this server as migration services server. Imagine I have a couple of machines in on premise. Okay, on prem, I have few legacy machines which are running on Windows 2008 or 8 or whatever okay also I have a couple of machines which are running on Windows 2019 or 16 or 2019 okay and as I said, I do have cloud offerings. Microsoft Azure. Whereas within that, I have a couple of virtual machines that I'm going to deploy for testing in next coming sessions. can represent the storage let's see SMS service 
I can consolidate the servers like this means the SMB shares which are running on this machine I can easily consolidate onto one of the latest platform in on-premise or else if I have Azure subscription I can still move the same data or same SMB shares onto here as well as onto here as well okay it depends on how I want to migrate and where I want to migrate okay for that this SMS service can be utilized as a uh, you can say uh, we have a couple of third-party tools in market uh, which will give you the live migration live migrating the legacy server data onto uh, Azure latest platforms on a, one of the tool is let's see this one one of the tool which will help you to consolidate the machines from legacy platforms onto public cloud platforms okay but this offering uh, within the Microsoft server itself and it's so free of course okay I have already installed the SMS service in one of my 2019 Azure my, uh, virtual machine okay well, for that what I need to do is I need to install admin center uh, how to install the admin center and how to configure the stuff that I will show you in the next coming videos and if I click on SMS admin center gateway if you scroll down a little bit down you will see storage migration service which is available couple of plugins that I need to up update that I will do later okay so uh, here it is you can create the job you can discover the machines within the network and you can schedule what all the files that you want to migrate and you can do how frequently you want to sync the files between the legacy system and the latest system because the people the end users of people are always you will use the legacy machines which are which are still in production okay so what we can do is you can schedule the uh, data migration or a data copy between uh, legacy server and the latest server uh, between legacy server and the latest server and then at some point of time at the end you can plan for cut over so my plan is to build the lab infrastructure the initially what I did is I've installed the Windows 2019 and I still need to record a couple of videos how to install 2019 that you can refer in my YouTube channel and how to install the admin center that I still need to show you and then uh, how to configure the SMS service how to configure the hybrid services from uh, Windows 2019 on on-premise machine to Azure, how you can grant the access between uh, on-premise server, uh, admin center and the Azure portal and how you gonna create the machines in Azure and for example if you want to migrate how that works that I still need to build a couple of scenarios on, the, on top of it and also if I have legacy systems and the latest infrastructure within on-premise how I gonna s set up the migration and do the cutover okay majorly two tasks in short okay last one is testing so a couple of phases are there in detail we'll discuss each and every uh, component and each and every service how we're going to utilize in next coming videos. Thank you.